it's great to be here. So quickly about the Army. The one takeaway message I'd like you all to, to carry out of here uh, is that the Army's investments in renewable energy are first and foremost about con contributing to our mission effectiveness. They are focused on capability. We are mindful of the mandates of Congress and of the President and of a range of agendas, but our actual investments go to making the Army do a better job in succeeding in its mission. If you look at the world in terms of soldier power, we're using renewable energy to recharge the battery of our soldiers and batteries of our soldiers in Afghanistan. In our vehicle fleets, both in terms of uh, uh, land vehicles and aircraft, and on our installations. Again, in Afghanistan, we're using uh, renewable energy hybrid systems, renewable energy batteries and uh, generators to meet the point needs of our intelligence uh, collection devices and communication systems. Here in the United States, it's probably where uh, most of you heard about the Army's efforts through the Army Energy Initiatives Task Force. We have built a renewable energy project pipeline of over 240 megawatts of projects that are out there in competition right now in the private sector. This represents about $700 million of capital investment. Uh, we have another 240 to 300 uh, megawatts in development that should come out in the next 12 to 18 months. So we're going to be well over halfway towards the President's goal in about one third of the time. So uh, we're pretty optimistic that we'll not only meet but exceed the one gigawatt target that has been given to the Army. A little bit about those projects. They are all over the United States. They're in, uh, in Maryland, they're in New York, they're in the, the West, they're in Hawaii, and perhaps most interesting now, they're in the Southeast. So the Army has been very interested and excited to partner with utilities, in this case a Southern company. And we're going to put in over 100 megawatts of solar power in Georgia. So that will be the single largest collection of solar power in Georgia. Yesterday, our correction two days ago, we just put out an RFP for a 10 megawatt project in Alabama. Now, 10 megawatts doesn't sound like much, but that's 10 times the amount of all installed solar in the entire state. So uh, we're happy to be leading the way into uh, the um, southeastern United States. But just briefly, uh, you know, where and when we can, we can work with our partners not only to develop the project, but to do so in a way that enhances energy security for the Army and for the local community. Our project in uh, Hawaii, executed with a Hawaii electric company, the intent is that we will bring in a, a, a multi-fuel generating system, natural gas, first natural gas system on the islands, uh, heavy fuel oil, and biofuel to an Army installation, Schofield Barracks in Hawaii. When we think about Hawaii, all their base load power is produced within the tsunami strike zone. So we're gonna offer uh, the utility uh, a higher elevation uh, platform Utilities can use Army land, they can build and operate the power plant, they're going to connect it to the Army installation, the Army airfield, and the civilian hospital. Now, briefly, how are we going to pay for that? Because uh, you know, some members of Congress have suggested in their, question, in their questions to Army officials that we are taking money from our readiness accounts and our training accounts to spend on these sort of renewable energy science projects. I just, I just want to make it very clear that that is absolutely wrong. Okay. The, what we are doing is that we are taking future utility bills and paying for the investments today. As long as you have an Army, the Army must pay its utility bills. And for the Army, over the next 25 years, that's over $35 billion. So our plan is to take some of that known future cash flow, work with private sector partners, and bring it forward and build the renewable energy plants. What's really exciting about all 240 plus megawatts of projects, they're all coming in at or below grid parity. So let me say it again, they're coming at or below grid parity. So the Army, using the authorities that Congress has given us, monetizing future cash flows, working with the private sector, is going to, in fact, save hundreds of millions of dollars of lives of these projects. That savings can go back into readiness and back into mission accomplishment. So renewable energy is not a cost, it's an investment. It's an investment that's going to pay dividends for the Army now and for quite some time. Thank you. Thank you.